Welcome. Uh, I am going live on our Facebook page. Uh, this is going to be a weekly thing now. Uh, we're calling it Spark of Faith, and it is going to be a uh, live time, um, but you can absolutely catch it anytime, and it'll be posted over on our YouTube page as well. Um, but this is going to be a family devotional time. Uh, so we are going to be using uh, the Spark Story Bible. Uh, this is a really, really fun Bible uh, with great pictures in it um, and lots of great stories. Uh, so if you don't have one of these at home um, and you would like a copy, um, if you don't have a great children's Bible at home, uh, get in contact with us and uh, we uh, will make sure that you get a copy of it um, because, um, oh my gosh, see, technical live issues. My computer is doing things I don't want it to be doing right now. Of course it is, right? Oh my gosh. Wow. I don't know how to make this stop. There. Okay, maybe it stopped. Nope. Yes. Okay. Wow. Sorry about those technical difficulties. This is why I pre record on Sunday mornings. Uh, but, uh, so, Spark of Faith. We will be. Um, reading a story out of the Bible, out of the Spark Story Bible, um, and then I'll give you uh, a question to think about um, and a couple of different activities you can do at home as a family, and uh, then we'll end our time together with prayer. Uh, so we are going to jump in uh, with this. Today, our story is Manna quail and water. So this is the story of the Israelites uh, after they left Egypt. God loved the Israelites and their leader Moses. God promised to bring the people to a place where they could build homes and live happily. They had never lived outside of Egypt before and they were afraid. But God went with them as they walked long and far to the place God promised. Traveling was hard and tiring. Along the way, the people became hungry. They complained to Moses. I'm so hungry, one boy cried. I wish we could go back to Egypt, whined a little girl. At least we had food to eat there. Her stomach growled. The people missed their dinners of meat and bread. The Israelites didn't know that God heard them complaining. That evening, something strange happened. Tiny birds called quails appeared everywhere. God set the quail so the people could eat meat. The next morning, the ground glistened with fresh dew. Even after the sun dried up the dew, there was still something covering the ground. It looked like bread had rained down from heaven. It was manna. The manna looked like tiny seeds and tasted like bread. The people ate and ate. Every day, God sent manna and quail so that the people had food to eat. The Israelites kept traveling toward the place God promised. After a while, they ran out of water. Even though a God had given the food when they were hungry, the people still complained. My mouth feels dry like a desert, sobbed a child. The people were thirsty. This time, God told Moses to hit a rock with his staff. When he did, water gushed out of the rock. The people had more than enough to drink. God gave food and water to the Israelites every day. God took care of the people just like God promised. So one of uh, the characters in our Spark Story Bible is Squiggles. This is Squiggles. Uh, he is our companion uh, through all of these different stories. 
Squiggles feels a lot of different emotions. Uh, so in this story, Squiggles feels thankful. So Squiggles will uh, tell us about his emotions and ask us some questions uh, to help us think about the story and uh, why it's important for our lives. So, uh, like I said, in this, ooh, gotta get my directions right here. Uh, in this story, Squiggles feels thankful. So, Squiggles wants to know what your face looks like when you feel thankful. So, go ahead and show your thankful face to everyone around you right now. So, Squiggles puts on a smile. He might clap his hands when he's thankful. Uh, in sign language, thank you is this. So, you could say thank you like that. We also have a question at the end of every story. What are some things you need that God provides for you? So you can take this time to talk about it as a family and talk about what kind of things does God give you, does God provide for you that make you thankful? So we have two different activities that you could do today. Uh, so the first one, uh, you can make some time for surprise. Uh, God gave the gift of manna to the Israelites. So you could share a surprise treat with someone you love. So you could prepare a little snack or a drawing or a flower and surprise a family member. We can talk about how it feels to let someone know that they're loved. The whole uh, story in Exodus or the whole story of uh, the manna and the quail and the water uh, can be found in Exodus chapter 16, 1 through 18, and chapter 17, 1 through 7. So this verse is from Exodus 16, 16. This is what the Lord has commanded. Gather as much of it as each of you needs an omer to a person according to the number of persons, all providing for those in their own tents. So we have to ask, what the heck is an omer? Well, it turns out that an omer is a bowl that held about four pints or about two liters. Uh, so really that's like a two liter of pop, right? So See if you have a bowl about that size in your house. It's probably like a big mixing bowl. So see if you can find a bowl that size and then fill it with cereal or crackers or popcorn or really any other snack that reminds you of manna. Then talk about as a family, is this enough for one person for a whole day? Talk about what it might be like to eat that same food every single day. And then you can have snack time. So these are just a couple of different activities you can do. Uh, you can read the whole story uh, in the Bible if you want. Uh, and you can talk about squiggles. And uh, then you can pray together. So we'll end our time here today with some prayer. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for providing what we need. Please be with us as we walk and eat and drink. Thank you for putting up with our complaining and always loving us. Amen. We will see you next week for another Spark of Faith story time.